Okay, so Naya is now having her baby. I don't think I can look. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh my god, what is it? Welcome back to another episode of the royal family in the last episode of the royal family We had our royal wedding of Oasis Springs and it was so so beautiful So we had Queen Nea and Philip get married and they're married now And they also tried for a baby in the last episode and we also had Prince Louis and Lady Corinne try for a baby in the last episode as well So that's super super exciting. So in this episode, there's so much I want to do in this episode One of the big things being that I think we're gonna have the royal baby So I think Corinne and Nea are both gonna have their babies in this episode and there's a ton of other stuff we want to do too so if you're excited for this video give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and let's go ahead and play the royal family okay so we are at the royal family of willow creek it is raining like crazy here but I, oh, okay, so I had signed Princess Corinne up for the monarchy career. However, I did not promote her to crowned princess, so I need to do that. Okay, so Corinne is now the, it says crowned princess. Technically, okay, so technically someone mentioned, and I will read the comments and after after she has her baby, um, because I think she's actually about to have her baby, so I want to make sure she does this first. It says she has to go to work, but I, I don't... I don't think she technically, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, maybe she does. Okay, so she's off to work. And did I, wait, I haven't even, oh wait, no, she's gone into labor already, guys. <gasps> guys, oh my gosh, okay, okay, wait, no, no, no. I need to make sure, I don't even know if I have a nursery or anything up here. Oh my gosh, wait, I need a crib and like, I need to make sure that all this is set. Technically, I think this was Princess Belle's room when she was a child, but not anymore. So let's go ahead and put a crib in here really, really quickly so she can have her baby here. Okay, so I put the crib down. I feel like there might be a glitch or something where I don't even know if she's going to be able to put the baby in the crib, but hopefully she can. Okay, uh, no, it won't let her. Okay, I need to have... There's like this... This, it looks like an actual baby when you go into build mode. And I don't know where exactly it is, but it looks like an actual baby. And apparently it's like invisible when you actually put it down, but that's, it's it's so your game knows like where to put the baby. Okay, I can't seem to find it. I'm just gonna put down a bassinet for now. And then when she has her baby, I will move the baby to the crib. So that should be good. Okay, so she's gonna be having her baby. I, and I, I'll go through just some of the names, like, because I, of course, write down all of the names that you guys have given me. And you guys give some amazing baby. Can she not get there? Oh, no, okay, she can. Um, And you guys give some great baby names, of course. There are several favorites I have. I have no idea if it's gonna be a boy or girl. Oh my gosh, I, I, I have no idea if it's gonna be a boy or girl. I don't know which one I want, but I'm just so, so excited, guys. Okay, she's having her baby. Her hand is like through her stomach right now, or it could be a pocket. You never know, but oh my gosh, it looks so painful. Okay. Oh, oh no, no, no. Wait, I gotta see if it's a boy or a girl or not. I know it's not gonna show up if I'm like in that view mode though. <gasps> okay, guys. Okay, it's a baby boy. So they have their first baby. It's a baby boy. And I just want to go through some of the awesome baby names that you guys have given me. I... I think I have my favorite. I don't know. Let me just read through them and see. So we have Frederick, Cornelius, which I think I'm leaning towards a little bit. Um, we also have Zachary. Arthur. Arthur's a great one too, though. And then we have, uh, let's see, Nelson, Dominic, Timothy. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to go with Cornelius. It's just such a proper name, and this is supposed to be the heir to the throne, so his name would be King Cornelius when he grows up, which I just think would be really, really cool. So I think we're going to go... Oh, no, I almost put King. I'm getting a little bit too far ahead of myself. His father isn't even King yet, so... Prin oh, I'm spelling this wrong. Prince Cornelius. Ah, that's not gonna fit right now. Cornell. Cornell? Okay, you know what? His name is Cornelius, but for now, we're just gonna say Cornell because he's going to be a baby and I can't change it yet. But his name is going to be Cornelius, so we're gonna go with that for their first baby. So, guys, this is their first one. I'm so, so excited. Okay, good. There's no twins or triplets. Oh my gosh. What? What? Guys, this is so freaky. She's holding her baby upside down. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, that's that's not a good thing. We definitely don't want to do that. Let's let's put the baby down. Let's just let's put the baby down so we don't hurt it. This what is happening right now? This is so so fr is it because she's holding an umbrella or like she thinks she's holding an umbrella? I need to reset her. Something this okay, something is wrong with her arm. 
we're resetting this. This is not right. Something is happening and it's terrifying. Oh, oh, wait. I can't move him, guys. Oh no. No, I wanna move him to the crib. Shoot. Well, where's this baby thing? Cause I know that there's a baby. Okay, I can't seem to find it. I don't remember what it's called. So for now, we're just gonna keep him in this little bassinet, even though it's really boring and I would prefer him to be in the crib, but I will figure it out later. So it looks like he's hungry. So you should probably feed him and change his diaper. Um, so the next thing I want to do is just change some of Lady Corinne's or Princess Corinne. Oh, this was what someone told me. Actually, let me go ahead and just go into creative sim first and then I'll, I'll explain this as I'm doing it. So someone did tell me because I was like, oh yeah, we should name her Princess Corinne because Princess Diana was Princess Diana when she married the heir to the throne. And someone commented on my last video and said that Princess Diana or the late Princess Diana of Wales was never Princess Diana. The media informally and incorrectly referred to her as that her titles were like the Honorable Diana or Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales, not Princess Diana. Oh, interesting. Okay. But then they were like, you know what? It's a Sims game. So just do what you want. Um, so that's what we're going to do, I think. So technically I'm just going to call her Princess Diana for now. She's going to be queen or not. I'm not going to call her Princess Diana. I'm going to call her Princess Corinne because that's what she is. Um, and then I will name her Queen Corinne when she becomes the queen. So we'll just keep it for now. So just if you are like into historic accurate stuff just know that princess diana wasn't technically called princess diana so yeah so i do want to change just a few of her outfits to be like a little bit more queenly or future queenly like she's not the queen yet but she will be so um i need to look for a few everyday outfits i feel like this one is pretty great i forgot what what was her like what shoe okay she's wearing tights and she's wearing red shoes not that we can see it or we won't be able to see it ever but just wanted to change that if needed it's Probably not my favorite outfit in the world, especially for an everyday outfit, because I I don't know. This this looks like a hot weather like sundress sort of thing to me. Um, but I don't really have the patience to just like look through a bunch of stuff right now. So because there's like so much stuff I want to get done in this video. So I think I'm just gonna keep well, I don't know, guys. It's so bright. Okay, you know what? Let me I'm just gonna cut some of this out. Give me one second. Okay, guys. So this is what I have chosen for her everyday outfit. I do like this a lot better. I feel like I might have given this to someone for like their party outfit or for their form outfit or something but you know what it's hers for now um so this is her everyday outfit it's very simple but also very elegant and gorgeous so i love this one a lot for her formal outfits guys ah, this one's my favorite so it's all the same jewelry makeup that she had for her wedding i just changed the dress this is from i'm pretty oh from John, John Sims, I think that's their name. Um, so yeah, they, they it, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. They have great, great stuff. So yeah, it's John Sims. It's the same person who made Queen Nea's wedding dress. If you're wondering the, like the link to Queen Nea's wedding dress in the last episode, it's in the description of that video. I forgot to say that. So yeah, so that is hers. And I gave her like a tiny, tiny little tiara. This is from Bats of Westeros or Bats from West, Westeros. Um, and then this is her other formal outfit. So no crown for this one, just something not casual, but like it, it, the other one's more of like a ball gown this one is like a other formal gown sort of thing so yeah and then i actually you know what i didn't even pick her party outfit i don't think i really need to pick a party outfit right now i did download some like other great stuff and i've been like like searching for a ton of other stuff on pinterest too and i've i've seen stuff i just haven't had time to download yet as well so i definitely definitely need to do that but like i don't know this isn't i mean this is not their color so i guess i should probably change it but I can do that later. I don't think it's needed right now, so we'll do that later on. So um, let's go ahead then. I think, I don't know. I think I do want them to try for another baby. I just don't know if I want to like, like yet, but I do want the kids to be also just really, really close in age too. So I don't know, maybe maybe let's like like travel around a little bit and then I'll come back and, and maybe have them try for a baby. Um, because I know that Naya, she still has a good amount of time before she need before she has her baby. So I'm gonna wait a little bit for them. Um, so let me just write a note to come back to make sure we try for a baby in this episode. So I will come back and do that after this. Um, also guys, I think, I don't know. Okay, so Princess Belle and Princess Go, Prince Francisco 
Club Voice of Springs. They, oh, they're still in the outfits they wore for their, for Queen Nea's wedding, but they have been together for quite a while. So I think Francisco might be thinking of proposing pretty soon. Prince Jack has not been in a relationship with Lady Arya for very long. Oh, guys, I might have Dean proposed to Princess Leilana in this episode, just to like focus on some other royal families too. Have they been together? They, they have been together about the same amount of time. I feel like Prince Jack might, I mean, not everyone waits a long time to get proposed, so I think it's fine. He might think about proposing to Lady Arya pretty soon, especially since her brother just got married and already had a baby. Let me think about it a little bit and then we'll come back. Um, but for now, there's a few things I do want to show you guys. So we'll go ahead to manage worlds. Um, so I know I asked in the last episode if I should remodel the Windebrook Castle. Some of you guys, like, I had some comments like, yes, no. Some of you were just like, just do it. Like, if, if you want to do it, do it, which is totally understandable and I get that. I'm just, I'm the type of person, you guys will probably notice, like, throughout just watching me on YouTube, that I am awful at making decisions. Like, I, I need help most of the time. So I, like, if I, like, look on Amazon, if I'm, like, choosing between things to buy, I take forever and then I end up just not buying anything. So that's why I just needed the push. Sometimes I'll ask questions, like, if I should do things or not, because I just need the push to do it, so, or, or not to do it. Um, I did get a lot of people saying, some people said they didn't like the castle, some people said they did, some people said it's tradition for them to keep it. One person commented, it was actually, wait, no, hold on, I need to find it. Okay, I can't find the comment, but I remember someone saying that royals used to put, like, so much money into their castles and, like, renovations and all that would be just, like, the castle would be changing all the time and they would put so much work into it that sometimes you wouldn't even recognize the castle. So I did start renovating, as you can see from the screen, like, clearly that's not what was there before. I started renovating. I know it looks so ugly right now, but that's because I am in the middle of it right now. It's not going to look like that, I promise. I so, so promise. But while they're doing that, because just adding all the renovations and different stuff to it, it ended up like just not like it wasn't livable really. So I figured we would have a royal family move into their summer home, which is great because it's actually summer. Um, so I will just show this to you guys really quickly because I it, this is actually really nice. And this is where, as you guys can see, where the Von Haunt estate was. And I downloaded this from the gallery, but it is very cool. And I think it is nice. I mean, it's so common for them to have multiple castles, multiple homes. So I feel like this is like the royal family summer home or summer palace or something like that. So it's, a, it's on a smaller lot. It's like a 40 by 30 lot, but I thought it was so, so perfect. So they're going to live here while I finish renovations. I actually did a lot more renovations than I thought I would. So that was cool. Well, they're like all mixed up in their formal outfits and then athletic wear and all that stuff too. But okay, so this is it, which is interesting. So this is mostly how it came. I think I changed some of the wallpaper a little bit, but then like the back of it is all windows. So it like just gets so much sunlight, which is really cool. So it's definitely like all the rooms were like, I need to change things a lot. They're not gonna, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully it won't take me that long to renovate the Windenburg. I really hope it won't. You guys need to hold me to it. You need to push me if I don't finish it by the end of the Sim summer, which is in like a, a week and a half technically for the sim so hopefully i can finish it by then but there's a lot going on that i need to do with that castle and then a lot i'm just gonna have to fix inside i did remember to get all the graves and portraits and pictures everything that is like our family stuff i made sure to put that in our family inventory so i did that and then uh yeah so i mean they're just gonna live here for now this is like the toddler's rooms we have like the two different ones for all of them and then i think they are supposed to age up somewhat soon I think maybe they are supposed to age up in eight sim days so we'll give it another episode or two I think before they age up I don't want them to be like like that much older than they're supposed to be so I'm gonna try to stick to that as much as possible but yeah so just so you guys know this is where they will be for several episodes until I finish remodeling that palace if you guys want me to show you a picture of it on the community thing I'm sure most of you saw but I can post like I can make posts other than videos like in the community 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 post now um so I can sh share like pictures with you guys like how the cat Castle's going and all that stuff too, and a lot of you guys have replied to a bunch of the stuff, which is cool. Oh, speaking of, there's like the Realm of Magic trailer that we can talk about as well, because I know some of you guys are gonna want me to do a royal family, like a witch's royal family or wizard's royal family. I honestly am more excited to get another world. I love the world, the wizard's world. I'm more excited for the world that's not the wizard's world, just getting another world that I can play around with. Maybe I can do like a, a wizard royal series or something like that, but I, like a mini series probably not going to add it to this just because like yes we have mermaids and those are like not like not humans but if wizards to me would completely change the tone of the game 
So I don't think I'm gonna do that for this series, but maybe I could do a Wizards Royal series, and then maybe someone can go to a wizard if they need something or something like that. But I don't think I'm gonna make it, like, add them to the series, just so you guys are aware. But yeah, I'm super excited. It looks really, really cool. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't come out to September 10th, which is actually a lot longer than I thought it would, because sometimes when they announce a pack, it comes out, like, a week and a half later or two weeks later. So I'm just excited to see, like, some of the game changers kind of, like, start working on that. So, yeah, just wanted to show this to you guys. So, the thing with Amira and Johan, guys, I think we are going to just make it, like, no real wedding, like, just a marriage that I'm going to probably end up having to use with a cheat. We're gonna wait another few episodes before they get married. I'm not ready for them to get married, which I'm gonna take that as they're not ready to get married. So, I just don't think it's ready yet. However, Amira and Johan are on very good terms. They're just still getting over things. So, oh, hold on, where, yeah, the only one she's not on good terms with is Makai, and that's because Makai broke up with her. <laughs> um, so, Johan and her, they, I mean, they're really good friends. She's honestly really good friends with all of the people she's kind of had romantic relationships with, except for Makai. So, I wonder if it's because she might still have feelings for Makai, so that would be interesting. Yeah, it says it's awkward right now, um, but with Johan, I think they're still sorting things out. They need to just... Like, they're, they're not ready for marriage yet. Absolutely not. So their fathers are willing to wait. They're totally fine with that. Of course, I'm sure that they want, like, grandchildren, but they're, they're willing to wait for that. I'm sure if, if they take too long, they might use it against them. Like, I'm not going to stay around forever, so you guys need to have grandchildren as soon as possible. Speaking of, how much time does Henry have before he ages? 22 some days. Okay, so he's got a good amount of time still before he ages up into an elder. Um, So we'll just... We'll see how that goes. I'm not gonna be ready for when he's an elder, though. And then, oh, I don't think Queen Ava, she's not even, like, she's not even a, I don't, oh my god, she's not even an adult yet, you guys. Whoa, she is, like, Princess Amira's age. I never realized that before. Okay. I mean, I knew they were close in age. I didn't realize they were that close in age, but I think the, the stage, like, it just has so many days, so I think that's why. Probably will age her up into an adult sooner than, than needed, but yeah, just wanted to, just wanted to point that out. So, yeah, I know we haven't spent too much time on the royal family of Windenburg since, like, Princess May's death and, like, a little bit after that, but we will focus on them very soon. We will be aging up the toddlers very soon as well, so I'm really excited to do that and see how they are as, like, kids and all that stuff, too, so we will definitely come back to that. Them. I I want to make sure I don't miss Prince or Queen Nea having her baby, so we're gonna go ahead to them. Also, because actually a J has aged up. Lord A J has aged up into a child, so we're gonna go ahead and see him. I didn't change any of his outfits though, so he might look a little ridiculous. Um, but at least we can be around them for when Nea has her baby, hopefully soon. Oh oh wait oh this is what I have to do. Um well hmm what do I want to do? I want to make sure, oh, he's so good looking, you guys. This is Lord J. his outfit needs a little work, but he's so good looking. Okay, so that's Lord J. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him. Okay, Um. so I, I didn't mention this in the last episode. I, and no one, I don't, no one caught it either, but I had actually moved pr uh, Prince uh, Philip out. Or I'm going to probably end up changing his name to Prince Consort Philip. So, or Consort? Yeah, Prince Consort Philip. So I don't get him mixed up with the other princes who are noble or princes by birth. Um, or princes by blood, that's it. So I actually moved some people around. So before here, we had this family. We had the Baron of Oasis Springs originally living here. I feel like their toddlers should have aged up by now. Or their infant, ch 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 their infant children should have aged up by now. But it doesn't look like they have. So they used to live here, but I want to keep all of them together because there's just not enough. Like someone pointed out, Philip and Nea should have their own house, and I feel like the family should all move out. So we built them a, a second home, the Royals Estate. So this is their royal family estate. Um, so we're going to have them all move here. I had to move Philip in with his mother just for the time being while they figure things out. But I'm going to move him in very, very shortly. You know what? He should also be there when the baby's born, shouldn't he? Well, okay, but I want to show you guys a J while we're here. So let's just... And I want to make sure that I'm in the same place. Well, I could I could name the child still because it'll say, like, like Queen Nea had a baby. Like, what do you want to name it? But I want to be there for the birth. Like, I want to see it. So I think that we should just go to them first. And then when the baby's born, then I will move Prince Philip. Maybe I can just have, like, invite Prince Philip over or something like that. For Yeah, we'll do this for the time being. Okay, so I don't really have any idea what time... Oh, oh my gosh, she's not even in the third trimester yet, you guys. Trimester. Trimester yet. So she's going to be there in... 40 minutes, which means she's not having her baby till the next day. 
Oh no, are we not gonna be able to get to- No, I wanna have her baby in this episode! I might just like have to fast forward through a ton of things, but she's gonna have her baby on the Friday at 5 p.m. So that's how you figure it out, is like when they go into their third trimester. So I always have to catch them when they're in their second trimester. So that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, it, it'll be a while. So let me just like try to fast forward as much as possible. Um, but this is Lord J. So he is a child now. I will change his outfits and stuff. He right now is, I'm well, okay, let's see. I wanna look at his traits again. Um, so his, oh wait, we're, okay, down here. So he's actually absent-minded, which was a random trait, but I went with it because I don't have any, I don't think I have any Sims that are absent-minded. So he's a little bit absent-minded, um, but he's like, likes to be super active and stuff too and likes to play a lot. So that's Lord of J. He's very, very cute, very adorable. Um, and then we also, oh gosh, he's gonna have to, I'm gonna, oh wait, no, you know what? I should have the teenagers clean it because I want them to have like good responsibility and good manners. Oh gosh, and they need to clean this too. Okay, and I think I said in the last episode that I was going to age up Michael and Princess Megan in this episode. I'm not actually going, oh, Countess Olivia would like to come over. Okay, that's her mother, sure, right? Yeah, that's her mother, okay, sure. Okay, I don't know how Queen Lindsay is gonna be to her mother, but that's fine. Um, So I'm not gonna age them up yet. Wait, why aren't you cleaning? You're supposed to clean. I know you're sick, but no, you need to clean. Oh, is it because Lorda J is cleaning? That would make sense. Okay, well then just clean up all these dishes. Um, so I'm not gonna age up Megan and Michael yet because their responsibility was, okay, it's not low now, but it was, it was like she was in range to earn the irresponsible trade at first. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. Oh, guys. Also, forgot to tell you this. Oh, is there no way to get there? Oh, ooh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm figuring stuff out still. So, there's actually no way to get here because I changed this. So, I made this a lower level. So, I got rid of like everything from the wedding that was here. I'm gonna sell this school project. Um, and I, I made it into another level because I thought it was really cool. So, you just like take the hammer and get rid of the floor. Um, but I thought I had like, I thought they had a way to go around here and, and get to everything, but apparently they don't. So for now, just for her to clean the dishes, I'm just gonna add some stairs. And then I'll probably change it later and just have like a hallway here for them to get to it. Um, because it looks like Orje, or Orje, Ajay was just like trapped here. So now he's like, oh my God, I need to get out of here. I was trapped. So I didn't even realize that. So he was trapped here. So he was the only one here, but then everyone else could have gotten out. So I didn't realize there was like really no way in. But anyway, so yeah, they were in range to earn the irresponsible trait. It would make sense for Michael and for Helena to earn the irresponsible trait, but I didn't want Megan to earn the irresponsible trait because I don't think she's irresponsible. So I want their traits and all that to basically like just get a little bit higher before we do anything and before we age them up. So that's why I'm going to wait just a tiny bit longer for them to age up into young adults. Also, I feel like now that she has broken up with Kellen, that maybe Kellen is kind of like now he misses her a little bit more. So I'll be interested to see kind of what happens with that. But yeah, so we for now, I just wanted to show you this real quick. I am going to go ahead and move uh, Philip and move um, the her family, all of their family, because they have so much family, into that other palace. So we can go ahead and take care of that. Okay, I'm moving the family now. Guys, this is kind of sad. Like, she's so close with her siblings. And now they're all moving out. And this is like, goodbye. And like, it's kind of like, oh, like, our, we're all moving out while, like, because our, our sister got married. I don't know, that seems a little bit strange to me, but like, it, it makes sense. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just gonna do this for now. And then his mother, uh, Pearl, uh, Philip's mother, she is in this house here, although it says Earl of Brindleton Bay, which is not true. So let's say Pearl McWilliams, because that's her actual, like, original name. Um, so yeah, so we have the Royals of Oasis Springs now. It's a new family. Family guys, this is like a new start. Like, like I, I don't know. This it's interesting because like sometimes we'll have like an overlap where like the royals when they get married they still live with their family, but now it's like the new their new house and everything too. So oh, this is my household. Um, so I need to make sure that I get our um, royals of Oasis Springs. Is that is that this? Family. Oh wait, it takes so long for them to load. It takes so, so long. So we need to make sure that this is a thing. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so we're going to move you guys into, I need to do a free real estate on. Um, so we will do that. I don't know, should Francisco propose to Belle? They have been dating for a while now. Mm, I think I'm 
going to. I think I'm gonna have Francisco propose to Belle. I just have no idea where. So I need to figure that out. Also really quick, I wanna show you guys. So I built this little neighborhood up. So now it's like much more, like before it was kind of like, kind of rundown houses and stuff. So I figured if if no one else, like if none of the places are available, then we might just have them live, like family live here until like a, a noble title or something opens up. Um, but yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna have Francisco propose to Belle. So let's go ahead and go back to that family. Um, just while we wait, for uh Prince, or for Queen Nea to have her baby because it's gonna take a while. So I think I'm gonna have them go on a date. I'm not 100 percent sure where yet, but I haven't really used any of these like lots in Oasis Springs that I added, like the public lots. So maybe I'll just choose one of those to take her to. And you guys can also see very quickly. So this is their new home. It's really cool. So down here is is not like tr a traditional thing. They have like a pool and it's like very outdoorsy looking. Um, and then here is where they have like the living room the kitchen and the dining room is really nice and that although I don't feel like this is very Oasis Springs like I feel like this is very much like Windenburg or Willow Creek so I'll probably end up changing that but then up here too we have like all the bedrooms so it's a very cool palace um so let's go ahead oh Megan just became really good friends with Helena that's good they're the same age she had a baby with her brother that makes sense um so let's go ahead and have him ask Princess Belle, um, let's, well, uh, okay, we'll ask her to hang out here first. Hopefully she's not sleeping. She'll be right over. Okay, so there's Princess Belle. So we're going to just do a little bit of romantic interactions. Yeah, because Princess Belle has been a young adult for a while. So yeah, let, let's go ahead. Let's have her go on a date. I know Francisco just aged up like two episodes ago, but I think it's time, guys. They have been dating for a good amount of time. So I think it's okay. So we have a few places they could go. I I think it'd be really cool to check out the temple because I haven't actually been there yet. There's the restaurant, but it's not too fancy. We have like a spa and a bar and a lounge, but I don't feel like those are appropriate places to propose. This is so beautiful. So I think we're going, well, I, I think it's beautiful. It looked beautiful from the, from the outside. So we'll, we'll just have her on a date here. We'll like just kind of, they'll go sightseeing, kind of, kind of like going to museums sort of thing and just kind of go sightseeing. Um, and then I think we're going to have them propose. Okay. So it's nighttime. I know, but I feel like this is kind of Francisco showing her his, like his culture, like the side of things a little bit. It's gorgeous guys. Okay. Let's sit together here. And is this a pool that they can swim in? No, it's not. What is she doing? Are you hyping up the crowd or something? What are you doing? Uh, uh, come sit here or be romantic or something. At least embrace her. You got to talk to her. Guys, this is gorgeous i love this a lot what can you like okay so there's a bar inside what kind of i forgot what kind of lot this i think it's a park um can you and you can you can go swimming you can get married here oh this they already have like a wedding arch and everything set oh and with like chairs and stuff too so that is so cool they have a bar they have, um, well, the, the I, what are these called? The bubble blowers, technically? It's not really what they are, but okay. Um, and then we have another wedding arch here, so you could have, like, a different kind of ceremony, which is cool. I like that they give you options. And then on the second floor here, we have, like, a little bakery with some tables and chairs, which is really cool. And then we have, we have a bedroom here, too. Um, and then we have a bathroom, which is good. People need to use the bathroom. Um, but yeah, and the gardens itself are just really, really pretty. So that's so so cool. So can you guys like sit together here or maybe I'll have them go sit inside or something, but she looks so pretty guys. I love her new outfits and everything. I was actually thinking of choosing this for Corinne. So I'm glad I didn't because I forgot that Belle had this outfit. So let's do ask a risque question. They're both feeling confident. Honestly, they're so close. I feel like he could probably propose to her very, very soon. This looks really weird when you sit down though. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It looks very, very interesting. Um, oh gosh, and there's paparazzi here and everything too. I always forget about the paparazzi. Someone made a good point though, that you can just put the VIP lounge, like the VIP door. So people have to be a, like a proper celebrity or, or a global celebrity to get in. I did realize though that some of our guests might not be a proper or, or a global celebrity, but most of them are. Um, so that might work. So I'll probably do that for future events too. So just try to get you guys both in a flirty mood. And then I'm trying to think if we should go swim. I don't know. I feel like this is such a great place to prefer. Ooh, let's do it right here. This is going to be like a perfect. Oh, wait, 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 go back. Um, This is going to be like a really great view for him to propose. Is there like enough light though? That's kind of my concern at the moment. Okay, guys, they're both feeling flirty. So let's go ahead and have him propose. I'm so excited. Okay, he's proposing. Guys, Ah! Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm like trying so hard not to get these people in the picture, but they are totally, totally in the picture. Guys, yay! She said yay! 
Yes, and they're engaged now. Oh, they're so, so cute. Oh my gosh, guys, yay. Okay, they're engaged, which is super, super exciting. I think we might wait a little bit before they get married, so we'll probably wait another episode or two. Um, but yeah, so guys, Princess Belle and Prince Francisco are now engaged. That's super, super exciting. Um, so really quickly, next thing I want to do, so I am going to end this date. So they are now engaged, which is so, so cool. Um, okay, so we're going to go save and manage worlds. So I am going to have, because I promised I would go back to this, I'm going to have Corinne and Louis try for another baby. So we're going to do that while we wait for Queen Nea to have her baby. Okay, guys, so we have Louis and Corinne. They are trying for a baby. So they're doing that. Um, it is raining so, so hard in Willow Creek right now, you guys. This is insane. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So yeah, that's happening. Um, oh no, it looks like Prince Cornell though. He needs his diaper changed. So it looks like his aunt, Princess Belle, who just got engaged, she is taking care of her nephew. And then Princess Corinne, you need to take, whoa, 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 wait, are you guys trying for a baby again? It says you're sleeping. Um, okay, well, why don't you go ahead and try, or take, take a pregnancy test, that's what I meant. She's dazed, she was struck by lightning? Oh my gosh, can't you die from that? Oh my god, would that be, oh my god, you guys! Oh no, 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 she needs to take a bath, this is horrible! Oh my gosh, what if she died? What if she died from being struck? Oh my gosh, guys, this is, this is, wait, King Edmund, you need to get inside right now, oh my gosh, you guys, what if she died from being struck by lightning, like, already? Like, they just got married and she already died. That would be absolutely horrifying. So, okay, good thing she didn't because that would have been really bad. So, right now, she is going to take another pregnancy test. Hopefully, she's pregnant. Yay, guys, she's pre- I realize my sound hasn't been on in this video, like, the entire, entire time. But I'm pretty sure it said she was pregnant, right? She's- yeah, she's eating for two. So, Princess Corinne is now pregnant. So, yay, guys. And she's telling Louie that they are about to have their second baby. Why is there water coming out of her? This is weird. I don't know what's happening. Okay, well, he's excited. So, yay, they're having another baby. So, we do need to go ahead. Back to Manage Worlds. We need to go ahead to Queen Nea. And I never set out a crib for her. Actually, I think there's already a crib in the castle, possibly. Um, but I do need to make sure that we have everything we need for her to have her baby. I'm so excited. I do have the baby names already picked out for her. If it's a girl, it's going to be Arya because that was her grandmother's name. And then it, it if it is a boy, it's going to be Sahar because that is her great-grandfather. Great-grandfather? Or it might be her grandfather's name. Let me just double check on that. Okay, so... Ooh, it's really hot outside here. But it's not raining, which is really nice. Um, so why don't we have... Have, I need to check her family tree and see who, like, which one was Sahar. So this would have been from her dad's side. So Queen Arya is her grandmother. King Easton, I remember him. He was her, her great... Okay, so King Sahar is her great grandfather, but I want, I, I did want the next baby to be named Sahar. I know that you guys have also come up with great baby names, and I think I want them to have, like, a lot of kids, too, guys. I think it's going to definitely be a tradition for the Royal Family of Voices Springs to just, like, have a ton of kids, so I'm so excited to do that, um, because, I, oh, she saw her henna. I just realized that. Now. Oh, she's crying about her dad again, guys. She misses her dad so much. That's so sad. Um, but I am going to have, so Phil, Phil needs. Yes, so, yeah. What was, I, for, I forgot what I was saying. But, oh my gosh, guys. Their kids are gonna be so good looking. And she's already gone into labor. She's already gone into labor. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Is this gonna be a boy or girl? I am so excited for her baby. It's insane. I think I'm gonna have to just get rid of the cribs for now. I forgot how to use them. I can't find that baby teleporter. And I forgot what it's called. So I can't really search for it either. But I hopefully will be able to find that soon. Um, So for now, we'll just stick with... A boring bassinet. I wish they had more. I know, like, it's not a toddler thing, but I feel like the toddler pack should have come out with another bassinet. You can't just have two bassinets. Like, I feel like that's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, even, like, Sulani, like, went the island living. They should have come out with a bassinet, too, you guys. Got a lot of complaints, EA. You better come out with something for the Magic Realm pack. Okay, so let's have her have her baby. I'm so, I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so Naya is now having her baby. I'm so excited to see if it's a boy or a girl, you guys. I, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I can't, I don't think I can look. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh my god, what is it? Ah! I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's a girl. Her first baby's a girl and it's the heir to their throne. I'm so happy. Guys, I'm so, so happy. Oh my god. I, 
I really wanted her to have a- I wanted at least like one boy and one girl, like either her and Corinne. I wanted one boy and one girl. So I'm so excited! And this is Princess Arya, you guys! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's baby. It's baby Arya. Okay, you guys. So we have our babies and she's already, she already needs like a diaper change and to be fed and stuff. But oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. I'm going to end this episode here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of our new babies because I'm so, so excited for them. Don't forget that if I haven't used your baby name yet, I'm sure I will use one of your suggestions. I have them like all in the Google document. So we're going to have so many babies and I'm so excited. So especially this family too, they're going to have so many babies. So you guys will definitely, I'm sure, get your baby name chosen. So don't worry about that. So if you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. In the next episode, I am going to probably have some proposals happening. So we'll get to see that. I think there's going to be possibly like a lot of proposals in the next episode. So if you're excited for that, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and let me know if you you have any like opinions on who should propose to who and all that stuff definitely leave that in the comments below as well and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>